we are going into a RV right now and coming out of that RV is these nice little cool cans 100% unopened you wonder if they're any good they're kind of kind of nice um, age wise I got no idea but it don't have no www dot nothing on it anywhere so you got to call a phone number way back in the old day stuff and this is stuff I've never seen before so it's called uh, great beans great coffee whatever now these were off in the bottom hidden down inside the frame all right so let me show you what we're working on right here okay now my shop is a freaking mess but that's what we're working on all right this old 1971 so take a good look I want to show you that that is just just barely now that's tight enough that's about two and a half inches but up here where my speaker rack is it's about I don't know three quarters of an inch <laughs> yep so the big Winnebago is currently sitting right now in my shop and uh, as it sits in my shop right now you can see what I've done is I've done a mark off on this and we are currently doing the demo this is all the stuff that has so far came out of this and we realized the refrigerator it's brand new so what you're seeing here is you're seeing my mark off how we're going to do this now originally in the first video I imagined that we were going to be about 21 inches now technically technically we are about 21 inches we're 23 and a half to where the bumper goes that bumper back there and the cut however is going to go here now if you're wondering oh that's impossible to do it's it's not it's easy um, you know those truck bed tops that go around the rim a diamond plate well that stainless steel diamond plate is going to be picked up and we're going to use that when this is cut because this piece of trim is removed and you can see it better defined over here this piece of trim will be removed and it'll be cut straight through there's nothing nothing back here it clears the frame by one and five eighths of an inch above this this door here one and five eighths of an inch and that is steel and it's a pretty heavy gauge I think this is roughly 12 gauge in here fireproof decking inside of it but what we've got here is we've got the actual outcome of what to expect these two fat boy 50s they're 50 pound a piece so there's a hundred pound plus the uh, propane plus the weight of the steel which would be about 150 pounds sitting back here this will be able to remain and we will have the uh, the cap going across the top of that and just barely from what I've seen it's one inch one and eighth inch down we're gonna have to take three eighths of an inch out of the cap piece that goes when the walls cut and then that's going to go with a piece of 20 degree um, diamond plate and then hit the floor now the good part about this is this is this is one inch lower than my pickup truck bed that hauled that fifth wheel so we're going to be cutting it one inch lower my pickup hauled it fine and had seven inches of clearance between the two but to make sure I can haul additional things I want to get a little lower than my pickup that so far I've never had a problem with but there we go now here's what it's gonna look like here so if you want to take a look where the cut line is now this will be that diamond plate cap this will just be its actual original trim will come forward so everything you see here including this curve and this joint here and that curve and going up will simply be removed and brought forward all the way up to here as you can see that design that's what's going to be up here now where this window is is um, nine and a half inches forward from this what we're doing right now is uh, other than four laying on his lazy butt we are back here and we've laid down paper and we're removing everything from the uh, the deck so that Daniel can remove the water heater So as you said, the cut line 
is about where this one by two is right now and that's coming out the cut line is actually right here you see here's that that can that fiberglass and then on the inside of its metal this is the fiberglass uh, can for the propane so this is going to be the cut line right there and we're going to remove every bit of this so that this cut line can proceed all the cabinets all the inside cabinets here will all be disassembled and removed all the overhead the roof has to come off we're actually taking the roof off before we do the walls and this rear section all the metal will be removed because we're going to have a door instead of that window right here that walks out into the truck bed so in here this was a very high class unit at the time in here is a vacuum system that has a vacuum built in way back in 1971 super high tech wasn't it and there's the water heater which is actually a fairly new water heater you can see the shine of the metal right right there and the guy had put all this new stuff in so it's a new water heater here's the best part it is a brand new refrigerator this thing is so new it's ain't even had its material ain't even had its uh racks unwrapped from the tape and stuff on them has never been installed nor cold so automatic and all that good stuff and we've learned also by removing and loop looking and cleaning that the stove is also a brand new stove we did not realize that just dusty so it has a new stove new water heater a 1982 quasar and of course we have the heating unit down in here that's coming out and you can tell by looking at that it is not not very old so we'll be removing that it's a suburban 40,000 BTU chairs and all that poor Thor will have to find him another place to hang out and so if it's been cleaned up but we're getting all this done getting the ceiling dealt with uh, the air conditioner everything off of it closed off so we can push it back out and wait for another day to start tearing more out all right guys just giving y'all an update one of our programs we're doing stay tuned anything i use in the videos or anything i use material wise i'll post a link down at the bottom where my postings but everything coming off and this thing being built into a big truck bed retaining its original siding but being bulked up built up strengthened up and taking it down to its frame which is only four and a half inches lower than the existing floor inside because these are the sandwiched foam We're taking that out beefing it up and then down here very nice heavy structural floor no cheapy stuff redoing it all gutting and tearing it all out and the jacks will stay the rest it'll go all right folks next step getting the cuts removing the glass, things like that.